guys, it's Shirlene. Welcome back to my channel. I want to say congratulations to whoever won the glow kit. I'll be doing another giveaway really soon. This video is a little bit different because I am doing a talk through. I don't know if I kind of like it because I just finished the video. I don't know if I like it better than a voiceover. It just takes way, way, way long. And by the way, I am sick. So in the video, if I do look sick, don't worry about it. If you want to know how to get this look, keep watching. Okay, so I'm sick, so don't mind that, but I'm going to start off with doing my eyebrows with something different with a powder. This is the INSPR Duo Brown Powder in Dark Brown. I don't know, I got it in my Ipsy and it's actually really good. Now I'm going to take this Anastasia double-sided brush and I'm going to go into the dark powder and start filling in my eyebrows. I didn't really do anything extra with my eyebrows, but I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with this concealer by Rimmel. It's called the Match Perfection, and I actually really like this. And I'm going to use this to also clean up my eyebrows, not only prime. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender. I got a new one because the last one was it's horrible. I'm <laughs> just going to blend out that concealer. Then of course setting that with the Rimmel Stay Matte. Now that my eyes are primed and set, I'm going to use tape just to like put it right here to get, you know, that clean effect. You guys know what I'm talking about. Now that I put the tape on, I'm going to go in to the Kat Von D Interstellar Palette. And I actually got this palette for $19 at TJ Maxx, so... And I think it's like originally $40, so I had to get it. The first color I'm going to go into as a transition color is not from the palette, I'm sorry, but I really wanted this eye look to like look a little bit orangey, I don't know. It's the DLS Single Eyeshadow in Teaser, and I actually really love this shadow. So let's see how this goes because I really don't know what look I'm going for. Taking my Sigma E35 brush, I'm going to go into that eyeshadow and put this above my crease. And I'm just going to keep building up. I'm really trying to intensify this orange because I actually really want an orangey look for this eye look. After I intensified the orange, I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put that into my outer V and just build it up. It's kind of grayish. And I'm actually not going to build it up all that much. I want to keep this look looking orangey and like with a whole bunch of browns not really that grayish this is just gonna add a little bit of dimension to the eye okay now i'm gonna go in with that same brush and go into this brown right here and put that in my outer v also this palette doesn't have a lot of mattes it has mostly shimmers and honestly the colors in the palettes don't look anything like they do when they go on the eye that's why I'm kind of like about this it's, it's coming off darker it's coming off way darker than it looks I don't know why but I'm gonna blend that out with the same brush I used for the orange and just gonna keep building it up but if you guys didn't know I did contact the winner of the giveaway and I did send it out already so and I did have my homecoming this past Friday and it was actually really fun the theme was the circus or something I don't know I don't know 
but it was really fun. If you guys noticed, the camera moved because my camera died, and I had a, you know, yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys get it. But like I was saying, a lot of you guys were messaging me on Snapchat saying I slayed the look, and I should do a makeup tutorial on it. But honestly, to be honest with you guys, I don't even remember what I did. I, I really don't remember. I just go with the flow. I don't even. I don't even know. Okay, enough talking. Now for my lid color. I don't know what to do. It's already. Hmm. Is this my silver color? I think I should use a silver. Yeah. With my one finger that I. My nails. They're super cute though, like, yeah, but, um, I lost this at school, you know, but I'm gonna use this silvery, oh snap, it's like a blue, okay, whatever, oh my god, this is so not going with the, okay, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I could do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to take um, an eyeshadow brush, well, a lid color brush, and pack the shade on. Okay, now time to take the teeth off. I'm gonna wipe all the fallout out and I'm gonna do my eyeliner, so I'll be back. Okay guys, this is as even as my eyeliner is going to get. So I'm going to prime my face with the Nivea Men Post Shape Balm and this is actually a really good primer. I didn't believe it at first, but it's really good, so. Okay, so I'm putting on, it feels super nice. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia Contour Cream Kit and I'm going to use the orange shade so I can put it underneath my eyes to color correct. Okay, so after I'm done with that, I'm going to have to set it and I'm going to use the same Rimmel powder. I do this so it won't blend in with my foundation or my concealer. And now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 205. And I feel like this is a little darker for me, but 204 is a little bit too light for me, so I'm right in between. But I chose this one instead, and I'm gonna use this for my foundation. I already said that, I don't know why I keep repeating myself, but okay. After I blended it all out, I'm going in with concealer and this is the Maybelline Master Conceal and if you've noticed, a lot of the stuff in my video today are all really affordable stuff so you can go and redo this look. And this concealer is actually really thick and full coverage so and I'm going to put this underneath my eyes and the rest of like the high point of my I'm actually not going to cream contour because that's just too difficult and it takes way too long so no thanks I put a little bit too much but oh well <laughs> now I'm just gonna blend that out and I'll be right back after I blended it all out I'm gonna use my airspun translucent powder and this has a really strong smell to it so if you're trying to get it it's just it's really good but it's really strong I'm gonna use my real techniques blending sponge and I'm just gonna bake with it every time I do this I can barely breathe because it's just so strong and after that I'm just gonna go in with the stay matte powder by Rimmel and set the rest of my face Thank you. 
After I finished baking and setting my face, I'm gonna go in with the Hoola Bronzer and bronze my face up. I'm not really gonna contour because I just don't feel the need to. I feel like this look needs to be really bronzy and that's just, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. After I finish bronzing and all of that stuff, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here from the palette and it's actually a really pretty dual chrome like highlighting color so I'm gonna use it as my highlight today. I'm gonna use the Morphe M510 brush to highlight. So let's see how this goes. Oh that's pretty. It's like kind of like purplish. It's not really gonna be picked up in the camera, but it's really pretty. Now to finish off my eye look for my bottom lash line, I'm gonna use this Zoeva brush and it has like a tapered little top, but I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did to the top, but I'll do that and I'll be right back because I feel like this video will be too long, so. Okay, I am done with the bottom lash line and I've noticed that this mirror from this palette is actually super good. This mirror is bomb. Now for mascara, I'm gonna use the Real Impact Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and I'll be right back. Finally finish my eyelashes. I am not gonna put on lashes because I just feel like that's too much work and I'm not, I'm not doing it. But I am going in I don't know which color I should use. Let's try this color. It's Roof, Roosh, Roosh by ColourPop. So I'll be back. I don't know. I'll try it. I really, really like how this came out. Like how the lips look with the eye look. And this Roosh isn't a really good lipstick. I like how it looks, but it's actually really streaky. It's it's not that good. ColourPop has its good and bad lipsticks. This one's kind of streaky, I'm sorry, I don't know, maybe you like it, but but I actually really like how it turned out and I think, wait, we're not finished. We have to set our face and I'm going to set it with the Master Fix by Face Studio Setting Spray. Okay, so we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is a finished look. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Congrats to whoever won the glow kit. I will be doing another giveaway soon for 2,500 subscribers. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't do it every thousand subscribers because then I'm going to have to be giving away something so soon. So let's reach higher and go for 2,500 subscribers. But congrats to whoever got it and leave me comments down below on what else I should give away, what I like, I don't know. Whatever you guys want, I'll give to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you in my next video.